Hey, this is Pastor Mark, I'm about out of battery right now. I've been hiking up the hill behind my house. There's a little community at Crowley Lake. And I uh, just wanna share a passage on prayer with you. This is a passage I should have memorized a long time ago. I know it well, but uh, I want you and me to commit it to memory. It is uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. And here's what it says. The Apostle Paul speaking, he says, I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and for those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between man and God, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all people. You know, as believers, this is sometimes a tough passage because yeah, especially here, in the United States, um, you know, every two years uh, or so or four years, we we have new Congress men and women. We have a new president, perhaps. We have, you know, civic leaders, um, county supervisors, governors, all those kind of things in in relatively short periods of time. And and often they're not the person that we think should be there. And yet the Bible doesn't ask you what you think. <laughs> It says, pray for them. And so I want to do that now with you. Uh, I'm going to slowly turn the camera back to our view here. And uh, I'll point it towards the, the storm that's kind of coming over the mountains from the Mammoth area. And Father God, we lift up those that are in authority over us for around the world, whether it be kings, queens, uh, princes, princesses. <laughs> presidents lord um, we pray for those that are in authority over us all the way down to our civic leaders and uh, uh, health organizations uh, police uh, you know lord all those that are in authority that are taxed at this time i i think of the high patrolman that i spoke to just yesterday who was weary and had been working hard and People hadn't been cooperating, and it was a difficult thing for him. And uh, we lift up people uh, like him, um, our hospital leaders, those that are serving our community at this time. We ask that you would fill them with your wisdom. We pray that they would lead in strength and in integrity and with their eye on the good for all people. And so, Lord... Um, meet them with health and strength and uh, joy in their positions, Lord, and uh, wisdom that comes from you. And we we thank you, Lord. We, we offer up our thanks for, for those who lead and um, bless you, Lord. Bless you. Teach us how to pray for them. And again, we, we pray for wisdom and grace in your precious name, Jesus. Amen. Well, hey guys, um, could have prayed a little longer, but I think my phone's going to run out of power. There is one other prayer that's recorded in Colossians 4, verse 12. I preached on it a few weeks back, and it simply talks about a man named Epaphras, who was a leader in the New Testament church. This is 2,000 years ago. And it says that he prayed, he actually wrestled in prayer. He was earnest about it. He, he contended vigorously, in other words. Uh, for the people there in Colossae, that they would stand firm in all the will of God, mature and fully assured. And what a great prayer. And that's my prayer for you as a pastor and as your friend, your brother in Christ. Um, let's all stand firm in God's will. And let's not forget to pray for those that are in authority over us. Hey, Lord bless you guys. Peace.